Hello. Hello. How is your day today? Glad to hear that. Anything specific on your mind today? Hello, here is my ranking of TDS towers. Starting in tier F, we have Slasher. Melee focused with low damage and poor range. Next is Normal Scout becoming obsolete later on in the game, along with Shotgunner which has low utility compared to other early game towers. In tier D we have Freezer, used to be efficient in slowing down enemies, but has no use in the current meta. Normal Soldier, reliable early, but doesn't scale well in later waves. Paintballer, decent early game, but falls off mid to late game. Sniper, simple had high range but low damage. Scout, good early game but gets outclassed by other damage dealers. Starting off the C tier is the Rocketeer, slow attacking but high damage. Mortar, great AoE damage but inconsistent due to reload. Farm, essential for economy but does no combat value. Huh? Electroshocker, good at shocking enemies but doesn't deal as much damage. Shotgunner, does good damage early on but lacks in higher waves. Moving on to B tier, Demo Man, great for crowd control and handles hordes of weaker enemies. Military Base, summons vehicles to ram the enemies providing extra damage. Crip Boss, a solid all-rounder with summoning abilities. Pursuit, good mobility and air damage. Minigunner, solid DPS throughout the game though outclassed by its golden variant. To begin the A tier we have Fallen Guardian, huh? good health and damage for farther waves. Medic, essential for healing stuns and crucial during game modes. Golden Scout, Good early game tower with high potential due to its golden perk. Ranger, simply long ranged and high damage. Golden Minigunner, strong and consistent DPS with excellent range. Now for the best of the best. DJ Booth, provides needed boosts such as discounts and range buffs. Commander, the call to arms ability helps immensely during rough situations late game. Turret, high damaged output great for long range defense accelerator excellent tower that could melt high health enemies and lastly engineer a powerhouse that's great for late game so how'd i do